having created all the components for this machine, the base, the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis and spindle, it's time to assemble them. And we'll start with the base and then we'll add the x-axis. It's actually easier to assemble if we make this into a single component. And as far as the machine is concerned, we will be defining this as the x-axis in AlphaCam, so it has to be a single component. So the way to do this is to go into the Boo Boolean Union, and this is going to be the target, and these are the tools. So just click on each one of these. Okay, so that's now a single entity, and it's easier then to join to the base. So we'll do that for the y-axis and the z-axis. Doesn't really matter on this one, which is... Preview that. We've missed one. Number three. Okay, so that's now a, a single entity. Z axis. It's a master. Back to the tools. Okay, and then we save those as we import them back in. So we'll try and be logical and work from the base uh, upwards. So let's insert the next component, which will be the x-axis. And I just want to drop that somewhere near, and then we'll use the 3D translate to nudge it into position. Let's get a bit closer in on that. Okay, if we do 3D translate, it's this model here, and we want to do it by position, and we want to move. And let's say we'll do the end of there to the end of there. Let's do a preview. Be okay, like that. Like a perfect join. So have our x axis attached to the end of our base. Next, we'll stick the y axis on the top and then the z axis hanging from that. So we'll insert our y axis, drop this down somewhere near. Okay, and this time to uh, to position this, we're going to use something slightly different. I'm going to use the uh, constraint. Let's pick up a 3D part, so we'll do a assign 3D constraint, and I'm just going to say flush. That I want this. I know that that is the same width as that. We're done on that for the moment, and if we go and have a look from the front straight on we'll see now that all we need to do is position this one down on there so we can go back into our 3d constraint we'll do that another way we'll use the abutment okay and the face that i wish to sit is that on the top of there Let's go and have a look at it from the right hand side, see what we have. Okay, so that looks like we've got it in the right place, but obviously it's sticking out a little bit too much and the machine will probably tipple over. So we'll go back into, we'll just do a click on this and then we'll do a 3D translate. This is what we wish to move. I'm going to move that in Y, maybe 2500. 0x, 0z, and we make sure we click move, preview that. That may be a, bit, a little bit too much, so down to 2000. Apply. Okay. Let's go back to our front, to our right. Have a look. 
Yeah, that looks in about the right position. So look from the front. Looks like it's in the right place as well. Good. Next we need to insert the z-axis and sit that down on here. So we'll insert the z-axis. Drop that somewhere near. I think we'll use the uh, constraints again. Sign a 3D constraint. Let's start by making this face flush with this face. And then we need to nudge that up. So I think that's probably best to be doing abutment. And I want this face to go to this face. Done on that. Let's have a look from the top. That looks like it's in the right place. Those bearings nicely lined up. Okay, let's look from uh, the front. Okay, so once again we've got the, just to position that a little bit further down. So if we pick up on the z-axis, go to general construction and we'll just uh, 3D translate that. And I'm going to move that down in z, maybe 1000. Zero and zero, make sure we click the move. Preview that. A little bit more. Maybe 2000. Apply, OK. Now we need to hang the spindle assembly off the bottom of here, and we've completed our machine. Inserting next the rotary axis. We'll drop that somewhere. And then we'll look at, again, using the constraints. 3D constraints. We'll start with the concentric. And I wish that to be concentric to that. And then we'll use the abutment again. And we want this to be abutted to this. Okay, we just now need to insert the spindle down this bore. Inserting the final part, which is the router spindle. Got that somewhere near. Do a constraint of concentric that to that, and then we'll try doing an abutment of that. I want to come out by say 15 millimeters to that. That's good, so we've got a little space there done. Now we have our completed machine.